I just wanted to ask you, Ken, when you do something like introduce uh, the Robusta in order to make the coffee hardier, Robusta do you genes, affect genetic machine. There's a spontaneous hybrid that was found in the island of Timor that's called Hibrido de Timor uh, in Portuguese, my bad Portuguese. The Timor hybrid, Arabica and Robusta, was spontaneous, found growing in the fields in Timor. And that was taken to Portugal and it has formed the basis for all of the Arabica technically sophisticated uh, hybrids of Robusta and Arabica. It's used to introduce genetic material from Robusta that will make the Arabica hardier. So the, the goal in all of this, these, uh, I don't know how many, probably three decades of research and experiment uh, is to produce uh, a coffee that will have be much hardier, but s still a true uh, complex Arabica taste. So the early versions are really pathetic. They're flat. In other words, they're, they're better than Robusta, or right. more interesting, or more lively than Robusta, but still relatively flat. But uh, the breeders just keep working, so they back cross. They, they produce one version, and then they, they cross it back again with Arabica. And, and uh, I, I'm sure it's very exciting work. And then they keep yeah. testing and trying them. And an enormous number of trials and uh, back crossing and so on went into the production of the Colombian Castillo variety. This, the, the goal was to make it taste like Katura, which is the variety on which the 100% Colombian program was built. But now, of course, we're going to be getting varieties like Gesha that taste completely different from either right. of those. In some ways, this passionate discussion about the fine points between Keturah and Castillo may be less relevant.